All right, let's see here. <clears throat> so we should be able to go live now. And uh, so let's get started. Alrighty. Greetings, everyone. I'm Stefan, and today we're going to be doing a little bit of tech rushing. Well, not tech rushing. Specifically, we're going to be rushing mega engineering. And we're going to be building a Dyson Sphere around year 66. Now, to be clear, it's going to be the start of a Dyson Sphere, the Dyson Sphere site. We will be able to upgrade that later into a full Dyson Sphere. Uh, but for the purposes of this video, the Dyson site is going to be finished around year 66. I've done two trial runs of this build before. One of them ended up in a year 62 Dyson Sphere site, and another one ended up in a year 70 Dyson Sphere site, which is why I'm approximating year 66 for this run. Uh, we're going to get into the build, we're going to get into the theory crafting, and then we'll go and jump into the gameplay. Stay tuned, because this one has some tricks that we're going to pull to make sure that we can actually tech rush uh, for mag engineering about 50 years into the game. Alrighty, so this is the build. Mega structures go brr. You might have expected this, but this is a driven assimilator ring world build. Where we're going to be running uh, some efficient traits on our robots, uh, emotion emulators, efficient processors, mass produced, and we're going to be running intelligent natural engineers and rapid breeders on our cybernetic pops. Uh, this is to maximize growth, and this is also to make sure that our cybernetic pops are working the science jobs, and our robots are working every other job, including alloy jobs. The difficulty with this build is that it's not a pure tech rush. Uh, if we did just a pure tech rush, if we just sat in one system and tech rushed, we'd get a Dyson Sphere site in year like 80. We're going to have to do a military rush on some other empires, and we're also going to have to uh, preemptively start building up alloys so that we can get stuff done as soon as possible. Uh, this is the difficult part of the build. You have to balance out so many different factors uh, to make sure that this works properly. Uh, but anyways, yeah, the origin is Shattered Ring. I've heard that it's going to get nerfed in the future, which is unfortunate. Uh, but for the purposes of now, this build is probably one of the best ones out there. Uh, of course, Driven Assimilator. Uh, the two bonuses of Driven Assimilator that we're going to be using today are that we have two species to specialize, which allows us to get efficiency right off the bat. And we are also going to be using the fact that we can quickly assimilate other empires to our advantage. The goal for today is going to be three empires assimilated within the first 40 years of the game. So that's going to be quite difficult and uh, a little sweaty to achieve, but we're gonna be doing plenty of pausing and making sure that we do all the micro as properly as possible. Also, of course, Rap Replicator is going to let us um, grow a bit more population because pops are power. And the more pops we have, the more tech we have, and the more uh, alloy output we're going to have as well. All right, so that's the build itself. Now let's get to how we're going to be using it. Specifically, let me pull up a tech tree. All right, so as you can see here, we have uh, the... Engineering Tech Tree for 3.0. Actually, this is that 2.8.1 Tech Tree, but nothing has changed since then, so this is as accurate as it gets. Uh, we want a gun for the Mega Engineering Technology, which is like... Oh my god, my camera doesn't go that far. Uh, like, over there. Yeah, over there, by Ringworld. That's Mega Engineering for you. We have three prerequisites for Mega Engineering. First of all, we need Zero Point Power, which is a physics tech. Uh, it's actually a pretty easy one to get. It's a tier 4. Uh, so we should be able to get it pretty easily. There's no modifiers for, you know, getting it too early. So that's going to be just fine. The difficult part is battleships and citadels. Battleships have a 0.1x multiplier for appearing before year 50. Citadels have an extremely low weight. And they're not going to start, you know, have a, having a high chance of appearing until year 90. Which means that we're going to have to do some shenanigans to make sure those actually appear uh, 40 or 50 years in. So what we're going to be doing is two things. First of all, we're going to be avoiding certain tech branches. We're going to be avoiding missiles, and we're going to be avoiding mass drivers. Uh, all of our weapons are going to be energy weapons, 
And by avoiding the uh, missiles and coil guns, we're going to be able to uh, avoid getting any of the techs from that section of the tech tree, meaning that the other techs have a higher likelihood of appearing. Uh, we're also going to be increasing the weights of the techs. Uh, for citadels, we're going to need to build three star fortresses in order to uh, give them a, what is it, a 2x or a 3x multiplier for appearing. It's a very significant multiplier, so we're going to have to go for that. Uh, we're also going to be going for supremacy to make sure the weight is 25% higher for citadels, and we're also going to be going for a voidcraft scientist to make sure that the weight is another 25% higher. Uh, this should bring up the tech cost to, well, tech weight to a reasonable level so that we can actually get this to appear. It's by no means guaranteed, but hopefully we're going to be able to get this done. To help out with that, we're also going to be running stuff like uh, static research analysis, and we're also going to be getting the discovery tree for two extra research alternatives. Uh, because the weights for these techs are so low, I have to go through these measures in order to get Mega Engineering reliably. Uh, and even then, like if we get screwed on our tech rolls, this might be a year 70 uh, Dyson Sphere site. Uh, but otherwise, what we're going to have to do once we get all those techs is make sure we're in tier 5 of uh, the engineering technology so we can actually get Mega Engineering. Mega Engineering, we should be able to get it within like the first two or three rolls of uh, getting all the three requirements. Because the thing is, Mega Engineering has a 20 times multiplier for appearing if you have a mega structure in your systems, a ruined mega structure specifically. And since we're going to be playing on Shattered Ring, we already have a mega structure in our territory, which increases the multiplier 20 fold. Uh, in addition, we can also build six star holds in our territories to increase the weight by uh, 1.5x for each star hold. So all those multipliers should drive the weight of mag engineering very high. And uh, hopefully we're going to end up getting it early enough. But yeah, so that is the tech tree part of things. And now let's get into the game and let's get started. So we're going to be playing on default settings, just to standardize things, and we're also going to be playing on Grand Admiral, because Cadet is way too freaking easy. So let's get started with these settings. As you can see, we can turn on uh, Iron Man mode, but I'm not going to because I don't like to have achievements in this game. <laughs> I I'm, what is it, 2.6k hours in, I have zero achievements, and I would like for it to stay that way. Alright, so let's see here. We have a spawn in a cluster. It doesn't really matter where we spawn because we are going to be invading people. Our scientists are quite good, but most importantly... Damn, we have bulldoze... I was gonna say, we gotta get a bulldozer leader to help us out with early buildup, but uh, well, we can make a selection of three. Holy shit. I mean, if there was a Voidcraft leader here, this would be basically the best... Uh, leader setup uh, but anyways we're gonna have to do a few steps first and foremost so first things first we're gonna have to go for research in our technology because we're going to be producing a lot of research from our population uh, in fact we should be able to get our first ring section built uh, about two or three years in so first things first to be able to achieve that we're gonna have to get some resources so what we're going to do is strip our ships and set them to upgrade. Uh, we're also going to set up a couple monthly trade deals for buying moats and selling food. The thing with moats is that uh, using 32 moats, we can achieve Volatile Land Clearance Edict. So we're going to immediately uh, buy up 30 moats and then buy the extra two moats with a monthly trade deal so that we don't have to buy 40 and then spend 32. Our construction ship is going to be uh, actually building something for once because we don't need uh, minerals for the first little bit. We're going to be clearing with energy. 
Uh, but otherwise, isolationist stance, of course. Uh, and I think that's going to do it. Uh, let's recruit our uh, bulldozer leader and hire him. Alright, so as we get started, these ships are going to start getting upgraded and we're going to start selling alloys. We're going to sell one batch per day and this is going to increase the efficiency of selling. As you can see, the price resets uh, after a single day and so we're able to sell all our alloys at the maximum price. Now we buy three chunks of moats and with the monthly trade deal, we're going to have exactly 32 for our edict. We're going to disband these ships. And we're going to, I guess, wait a month. Yeah, at this point, things are good to go. If you guys have any questions, uh, I will answer them in a bit. Uh, right now, we got to be focused on doing stuff as optimally as possible. Specifically, we just ticked over a month. So we go into volatile land clearance. We cancel this trade deal. We set up another trade deal to buy uh, 52 minerals. And we go ahead and clear our first blocker. The carpet tunnels. This is going to give us 500 minerals and also, well, actually, I think it's 400 and 100 gas. This is going to allow us to upgrade our research segment very quickly. Once that is done, we're going to go for at least three science ships to go and explore nearby space because uh, the more planets we have, the more growth we have. And the more growth we have, the more scientists we're going to have on our home planet. Uh, but yeah, the fact that we don't have any planets in nearby space kind of sucks, but I'm sure we'll find them. Also, slight bit of efficiency. Uh, we don't need service imbeciles. We can just disband them for one extra energy per month. Uh, what we also forgot to do, we got to disable uh, the uplink node. We're not over admin cap and we don't want to uh, spend pops on admin cap if we can afford it. Uh, but yeah, crazy Mimax. This is what you have to do to, <laughs> to get Mega Engineering uh, this early. Uh, but yeah, someone's saying someone got uh, 6k tech in year 57. That is pretty crazy. Complete. Uh, the This build is going to be going for about 3k by that year. Uh, but that's also because we have to crank up our alloy production to at least like 300 or 400 per month uh, to be able to actually afford the mega structures. Anomalous surface variable. Remember, we have to restore our ring world first before we can even take the Ascension perk for uh, the Dyson Sphere to show up in our tech tree. We need Galactic Wonders, and for that we need to uh, restore a mega structure. And restoring a ring section does count for that. Ooh, we got gas in this system. That's actually excellent. Uh, one of the problems we're going to have is gas, because remember, a ring world will upkeep the first district of each type, but we're going to have a lot of research segments, so we're going to need to get a lot of gas production. Also, is the music too loud for anyone? Um, I want to turn it down a little bit. Or at least adjust settings a bit, because it's way too loud on my end. All right, that's better. All right, so we cleared our first thingy. Uh, let's actually clear the technician jobs as well. And then after that, we'll queue up the first segment. Anomalous surface actually, it might have been detected. slightly more efficient to clear this uh, blocker first uh, before going for the uh, minerals and gas clearing. Yeah, our Hunter Seeker is still employed. You know why? Because there's no other job for him to go to. Uh, it's better for a Pop to be a Hunter Seeker than it is for them to be unemployed.
All right, I think we could cancel this trade deal. We're going to set the maximum buy price to one, and uh, because the maximum buy price is one, it's not going to get bought. All right, let's see. Uh, actually, getting cyborg scientists is better than getting normal scientists. Cyborgs get up 5% uh, to research speed, and because they're cyborgs, and because this run is only going to take 60 or so years, they're not going to die. So their biggest disadvantage is kind of negated. Now, let's see. Uh, I do want an intellectual governor, but that is not... An immediate priority. We can wait for that to happen. All right, let's queue up our research segment. And looks like we have an archaeological site. Deja vu dig. Ah, that's decent. Uh, by the way, this is not a modded playthrough. The only mods we're using uh, are there. There's two mods that we're using. There's one UI mod that allows us to see our strategic resources because it's very important to manage those in this build, and another one that is my own mod, uh, which shows the tier of the techs uh, in their icons. I have a link to that in the description, and both of these mods are non-checksum changing. Right, we're gonna greet Xenos with open arms, because we do want to be uh, nice to others. To make sure they don't... Uh, uh, cause us problems later down the line. Let's see. Are our jobs allocated properly? No, they're not. Alright, that's better. Uh, Chad Sukin, why don't I fire the governor I'm not using? Well, that's because there's still a lot of blockers to go, and we're going to be using the excavator governor for the next, like, 10 years of the game. Because what we need to balance out is building new segments for more jobs, and we're also going to have to balance out uh, the resource. Wow, well, getting resources from these blockers. Like, here we can get uh, 400 minerals and 100 of a strategic resource, which is quite amazing System survey complete. and uh, with these blockers we can increase housing to hopefully increase the boost from for population growth on our organics funnily enough uh, just a little tidbit uh, the extra growth like the exponential curve growth for uh, organic pops does take into account robot pops so even if we have a singular organic pop on a planet with 40 robots that one organic is going to grow a bit faster because uh, sexy toasters, I guess. Now, unfortunately, we're not getting any planets in our nearby space. This is very concerning. Uh, I typically like to get two planets at least to make rushing down the first empire a bit easier. Because we're going to want to rush down another empire about uh, 20 years in. All right, our research segment is going to get built, and our economy is going to absolutely cry. Now let's see, though. Oh, we can get another Spucker Genius. All right, I'll go for that. Three Spucker Genius, guys. System survey complete. Right, research segment is complete. Uh, let's make sure our jobs are managed properly. So I'm going to unemploy some fabricators. I'm going to unemploy some armor drones. And this should get us an economy that's actually stable. I'm going to cancel this deal. And 
and now we're going to go and keep clearing blockers. Uh, I like to clear the crystal blocker uh, early on so that we can get the uh, crystal sensors edict. Crystal sensors is going to give us two more uh, view range on our sign ships and is going to let, let them uh, find stuff easier. Specifically, find uh, artisans, curators, and crystalline entities easier, because that is what we need. Construction complete. Alright, this is a bit more scientists than I usually go for, but this is going to be fine. Uh, the thing with scientists Anomalous is, if you do a lot of surveying and you get an, a lot of anomalies, uh, you're going to be able to uh, get a lot of tech, like stored tech, from random events. Yeah, let's see. Can we get... Oh, we can get an intellectual. Hell yeah. All right, now we're doing very good. Uh, we have all the leaders that we need, and now we're not gonna really need energy credits. In fact, we're going to go for a deficit economy in a bit. We're going to tank our energy credit production in exchange for massively increased research output. Uh, for that, we're going to do a little trick. We're going to employ the architectural interest dude for a discount. We're gonna build the research segment and then we're gonna re-employ uh, the scientist. Anomalous surface variable detected. So that our segment is a bit cheaper. Uh, actually, I might not want to buy up minerals just yet. I will want to save up some resources and get a bunch of gas. Because the problem that we're gonna experience is we're gonna go into a gas deficit. Uh, and uh, we're gonna have to start figuring our way out of the deficit because that's a minus 25% to all jobs. surface variable detected. System survey complete. Yeah, RNG plays for uh, for Stefan again. I mean, we have two planets here. This is as good of a start of, as we really could want. Uh, the only problem might be if there's like, I don't know, Pricky T uh, that spawn all around us. Pricky T are a bit more difficult to deal with than normal empires. So, uh, yeah. Since we do rely on killing other empires to get more pops, Technological getting uh, interference successful. would be a problem. I might actually want assembly patterns. Like, assembly patterns uh, isn't the best of techs. Uh, but it's good for tech rushing, because it only leads to one more tech. While the robot path leads to a lot of techs. And we're not actually going to be... We don't really have the time to do any uh, big engineering projects to modify our species. Technological acquisition successful. Let's see here. I'm hoping for hydroponics bays in our society tree. Complete. Technological acquisition Yes, we successful. got hydroponics bays. Uh, so what we're going to do is once we build our two colony ships and colonize these two planets, we're going to spam hydroponics bays. In fact, we'll do that immediately on our home system. Alright, let's see, we're almost at the point where we're uh, going to go into deficit economy, so we're going to sell off some excess resources. Let's see, 14 days, yeah. Let's just sell off all of our crystals. 
let's sell off some minerals and buy up a bunch of gas. Yeah, that looks good. And 90 gas is going to last us 45 months because the upkeep is two per month. So Systems for the next survey. four years, we'll be fine. Yep, there we go. We're in deficit. Uh, I actually don't want to be in food deficit. So let's go ahead and adjust that. And yeah, this should be fine. So now we're going to be producing a whole bunch of stuff. I did not mean to sell that. And our tech is going to be off the charts. Like, as you can see, we're, we're making over 450 tech in year three. <laughs> like, um, I, I mentioned before how I thought Necrophage was uh, stronger than Machine Ringworld. Well, Driven Assimilator Ringworld is, System survey. I'd say, above uh, Necrophage. At least when you do the exploit of negative economy. Yeah, negative 105 AC. And as you can see here, we're suffering negative minerals from jobs. We don't have minerals jobs. And we're suffering uh, ship army and shield uh, reductions, which we don't have ships. We don't have shields. We don't have armies. So that's whatever. And we also can't spy on people, which kind of sucks, but uh, meh. All right, let's see here. Uh, let's build our machine assembly plant. And we're actually also going to want to go for a simulation site as well. Uh, the simulation site is necessary because our Unity output is abysmal right now. So we're definitely going to want to crank that up uh, as soon as possible. Anomalous surface variable detected. By the way, this uh, build can be done without the energy deficit exploit. Uh, it would just take another uh, at least 10 years to get your first mega structure. All right, first league. Uh, I was actually afraid uh, that we're going to get Cybrex in this front because Cybrex is kind of like a category of its own. If you get Cybrex, you can get the Dice of Fear site like under 50 years in. Uh, but this run does not rely on Cybrex, because Cybrex is RNG, and getting Cybrex would only kind of take away from the point of the build. Construction complete. Yeah, this is fine. <laughs> this is like Technological dog sitting in a fire fine. Like, we're not getting hurt by our uh, deficit. Uh, the only problem is going to come if uh, another empire discovers this. And we're still running the de uh, deficit. Because, like, if, if another System empire sees us and is bordering us and knows we're a drone assimilator, they're going to attack us if they think they can win. So, this exploit is only really viable for a decade in the early game, but that decade helps us get ahead of any opponents, so that's why we're doing it. Technological acquisition successful. Let's see, if you guys have uh, questions in chat, feel free to go ahead and ask them. I uh, hear we have a pretty difficult tech role option list. I guess we can go for refineries. Because those will actually benefit us. System survey complete. Uh, Thaiga and Nissan, how are we going to offset that gas? Uh, we're going to occasionally sell off some resources uh, in order to buy more gas. Uh, let's see. Uh, also, we should be able to get the gas refinery in like eight years or so. 
Uh, Supreme Degenerate Gore. We're building a Dyson Sphere from scratch. Complete. So what we're going to do is we're going to restore our ring world. We're going to go and uh, get our Ascension perk. Get Galactic Wonders and get our Dyson Sphere built. Uh, now, one difficulty with this run and something that could be worked on to optimize this build is I always tend to get like two Ascension perks. Uh, I don't go enough for Unity and in this one, I'm not going to try to go for more Unity because that could also take away from the tech. Uh, but basically, I usually get two Ascension perks, then I get Ambitions, uh, so Ascension Theory, basically. And I get the third Ascension perk, and what I do is I go for the first perk being Tech Ascendancy, second perk being Galactic Wonders, and the third perk being Master Builders. It's a little wonky, but since Galactic Wonders can be chosen as uh, any perk, as long as you meet the requirements, uh, it works quite fine. Uh, oh yeah, also manufacturing focus. We basically don't have raw resource production, so going for manufacturing focus uh, only boosts our numbers even higher. Uh, and Amano, can this build work as a normal machine empire with Rogue Shiver? Yes, it, will, it can. Uh, Driven Simulator is good for this specific build. Well, this specific strat for the build, because we do need to conquer other empires to get stuff done earlier. A peaceful version of this build can get a Dyson Sphere, it's just going to take another decade or so. On average. If you get lucky with planets, of course, you can just be peaceful, but... Uh, I tend to not get absolute fuck tons of planets uh, in my nearby space. Now, let's see, our jobs are looking a little wonky. Let's see, Karam Metal Armor is something we actually want, because it unlocks no, techs like uh, building slots and uh, extra alloy output. Let's see, Hydroponics Bays are going to come online soon, uh, which should fix our food deficit. For now, we're going to quickly sell off a little chunk of resources and just buy some food. Just for now. Ideally, I want to be uh, feeding my people off of star bases. Uh, Nick Jik, how much happiness could be achieved if you promote your primary political faction and have one vision as first perk? Uh, I think the maximum bonus for a happy faction is like 15%, so it's not too significant. Alright, I was scared there. Uh, it looks like these are the teriyaki, and not another empire. Hopefully we get another empire, like, here or here. Like, relatively far complete. away, so that they don't expand to us in the first uh, 20 years of the game. Also, you will notice that we're still going for energy techs. Uh, that's for the reason that this deficit economy is only going to last uh, 10 years from now. And then we're going to have to switch over to normal eco. And because, of course, if you're in the middle of the war, having minus 75% to ship fire rate is kind of devastating. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Although maybe we can make do with clearing some blockers. Now we got some minor artifacts. Uh, that's actually going to help us because we could use uh, incorporate artifact relays. And then later on, we can use adverse energy or arcade technology to get more tech. Technological acquisition successful. We're going to want to go for admin cap techs because those can 
uh, let us avoid employing any sort of uh, Amicab jobs in the early game. But yeah, Supreme Degenerate Gore, uh, they changed the Master Builders technology, or not Master Builders, Galactic Wonders. You can do it as the first perk. Like, I don't know why they changed that, but that's hella useful for this build. Because otherwise we had to do a lot more tech rushing. Alright, let's see. Uh, James Brown, thanks for 10 bucks, dude. <laughs> really appreciate it. Successful. I guess we can go for Strikecraft, because Strikecraft are going to help us with uh, defending. Technological acquisition successful. Anomalous surface variable detected. Planetary settlement procedure initiated. As you can see, our first colony is getting colonized. We're getting 2.1k engineering tech for that. That's incredible. Uh, they made it so that rewards for the... Uh, for, for the tech giveaways, scale with your tech production. So because we have a lot of tech production, we're getting a lot of tech from basic stuff like colonization. We also have a lot of uh, anomalies. We're actually going to hold off on researching the anomalies until we can get like uh, 500 or 400 tech output. Anomalous surface variable detected. Let's right, see, so we have a lot of uh, minerals. Let's go build some uh, communal housing. Well, drone storage, rather. Uh, this way we can unemploy some more amenities jobs and have them work somewhere else. Actually, we, speaking of working somewhere else, I kind of want to play more fabricators. I don't know. Maybe not. Technological acquisition successful. Let's see. Let's keep going for mining output. We're getting a lot of uh, a lot of resources from just raw deposits, so getting more and more is just fine. All right, now we're out of exotic gases, uh, but fortunately we thought ahead and cleared the moat blocker, so we're going to be able to sell those, sell some excess minerals, and then buy up a whole bunch of gas. It's that simple. Construction complete. This is why I kept the clearing dude around, successful. and this is why we are going to keep him around until like very late into the game. A foreign entity has ah, we researched that Tianki. Oh, we have a lot of influence. We might as well pop capacity subsidies before I forget. Uh, capacity subsidies isn't going to do anything for us right now, but it's going to do it, do stuff for us in ten years. Technological acquisition successful. Also, yeah, uh, using the energy deficit, we can potentially bait other empires to attack us so we can destroy them at our star bases, but I don't really want to do that. I'd rather just build a big fleet and uh, destroy them. Detected. It's easier that way. Anomalous surface variable detected. Uh, but yeah, at this point, I'm gonna probably actually let this guy go and uh, start just going into space. We want to get crystalline entities because getting those early is gonna give us a massive edge in terms of fleet power uh, per alloy. System survey complete.
technological acquisition successful. Gas extraction walls? Can't say no to that. But yeah, James Brown, I really appreciate your tutorial videos. They helped me get into the game much quicker and made the game much more enjoyable. Thanks. My pleasure, dude. It's awesome when I can help people with uh with tips and tricks. Technological acquisition. On how to play a, a freaking video game. Yeah, you will see that because we have the crystalline uh, sensors, our science ships are significantly more effective in surveying and uh, just exploring systems. Which means that we're going to be able to find uh, stuff like crystalline entities a lot easier. Unfortunately, our systems seem to be pretty poor. Uh, we're not getting a lot of uh, resources from space, but I guess that's fine. Uh, Matt Winters is so disheartening watching people play Star Wars because AI is so bonked. Yeah, AI is uh, pretty bored. Like in the next uh, few streams, I'll probably either be playing Starnet or playing with uh, with other people because uh, currently AI just doesn't build tech. Like in year 100, they can still have like 400 tech per month total, uh, which makes them extremely weak, even on Grand Admiral. Because, I mean, of course, I'm Grand Admiral. I, I only play Grand Admiral because uh, that's the only way AI can even be remotely considered a threat. I mean, we could put, turn on advanced AI empires in the future, but I, I don't really like asymmetrical starts. I like it when starts are uh, on the same level. Acquisition successful. And then uh, you can grow faster. All right. Let's see here. We got Course Compass, which means Caravaneers, which doesn't actually do anything for us. I mean, actually, I, I take back the thing I said about Semestrical Starts. Of course, German Assimilator Ringworld versus uh, Gateway Start, uh, that's not symmetric <laughs> at all. Yeah, let's see here. We have excess alloys. Let's build some good old fashioned starports. System survey complete. Planetary settlement procedure initiated. a lot of planets. We're not going to be able to expand to all these planets, but that's good to know that there's so many. All we need right now are some pops working. Uh, either fabricator jobs or calculator jobs. Let's see. Starting AI plus Grand Admiral plus scaling work is working fine for me. Yeah. I will be turning on uh, Starnet because Starnet is fun. Planetary surface but yeah, question. When should I start worrying about admin cap? Uh, actually, uh, with our power, we should be worried about admin cap right now. The only reason why I'm not worried about admin cap is because we're going to fix that in a second with just technology. Right, we got our first colony up and going. Uh, these colonies are going to look exactly the same. We're going to have, uh, you know, the capital building, and we're going to have machine assembly plant. There's going to be a grand total of two pops on each planet, and they're going to be producing a bunch of growth. 
Although this planet has uh, crystalline caverns, and we're researching the tech for that. So, I might want to make this an exception and actually build an extra building slot on this one. But we'll see. Technological acquisition successful. Hi, there we go. Our admin cap is fixed. What do we want to go for next? All these techs kind of suck. Uh, let's, let's just go for subterranean colonization. Uh, eventually, we are probably going to make these planets uh, actually produce stuff. Because eventually, uh, our ring world will run out of space. Uh, speaking of space, let's, let's get that space gas. It should hopefully help us out with uh, with our gas issue for the next little while. Ah, by the way, a uh, question to the, the dudes playing Starnet. Uh, how does it keep up in the late game? Last I remember, Starnet did not fare well at all. Uh, when it came to the late game. Like, it would complete. start very strong, but it would then just drop off like a rock. Also, really enough, there's like no, uh... Complete. No freaking empires in the nearby space. I mean, I bet they're all like in the areas we haven't surveyed yet, but this is kind of concerning. We kind of do need to meet another umpire soon. Construction complete. Alright, this is going to be pretty much as much star-based development as we're going to do. Uh, from now on, we're going to be stockpiling alloys. Technological acquisition successful. There we go. Bruh, these aren't even Xenos. Well, they're Xenos, alright, but they're... Uh, what is it? Artisans. Actually, this is amazing. Uh, but I'm highly surprised that there's no other empires in the nearby space. This is, like, literally default settings. So I guess we're just getting unlucky. Oh. Eta aliens. Crystallines. Alright, so this is a perfect start, except there's no other empire nearby. Uh, we kind of desperately need another empire nearby, so... Yeah. But yeah, freaking crystallines. That's going to make it so that our first war is going to be easy. Technological acquisition successful. Someone's saying that, uh, the trees should match the length of engineering, because, like, engineering tree is by far the biggest one, the most complex one, Anomalous and the most useful to memorize. Uh, the other trees are kind of lame in comparison. Technological acquisition successful. I'm wondering, when can we get those uh, destroyers? Let's see, can we hire a Voidcraft dude? We cannot. I would like a Voidcraft scientist. Preferably a Voidcraft cyborg, but it's a lot to ask for. Right, come on, game. Give, give me... Give me Xeno. I want to eat Xeno. System survey complete. Uh, Halder... Uh, why do crystallines mean easy warp? Crystalline hull plating 
is equivalent to tier 4 armor in terms of hit points that it gives, but it is extremely cheap. So you can, uh, like, you can basically have tier 4 armor in your first war for, what, 5 crystals <laughs> on your ships? Or maybe, uh, maybe not 5. 15 and crystals across your fleet. Successful. So that's like a bit of uh, extra energy that you pay for your fleet to get crystals on, and then you don't pay upkeep for the crystals even. God, that's a lot of... Game. Gib Alien. But yeah. Archaeological say finished. Alright, awesome. We got... We got this unit traumatized. Poor guy. Aw, oh, come on. Really? You gotta do this? You gotta do it to him? Construction complete. What did we get? Space-time theory. Ah, uh, that's not bad. Construction complete. I mean, I guess we don't need the scientist anyways. He's, he's just gonna go and uh, serve a random space for aliens. Ah, uh, Dulgok, we're playing on 1x tech speed. Playing anything less would be a little unfair. Oh my lord. That's actual Xenos. Alright, perfect. That's fairly far away, but well, we can get there. Let's see, we have 800... 900 alloys. Now we're gonna need to step up our production a bit. Yeah, having seven drones producing alloys should help us a bit, uh, but I'm still a little worried. Planetary surface settlement established. Alright, perfect. We've got this planet colonized as well, uh, which means we can get robot assembly plants on there. Right? Oh my god. Let's see, they already have a uh, tier 2 station here. It doesn't really matter, we're going to be going for plasmas on destroyers, so uh, resistance is going to be fairly futile. For now, since we did find the alien... A foreign entity has decrypted our communications. Uh, we can get this guy to just start serving space for anomalies. There we go. Crystalline study. I mean, if we have to kill them with UV lasers, so be it, but I'd rather have plasmas. Technological acquisition successful. Ikid Claw, Stefan, give us more RimWorld, please. Uh, yeah, honestly, I should I should get working on a new RimWorld series. Successful. Keep that going as a thing on the channel. Bruh. Where the destroyers at? Let's see, we could potentially clear some blockers and get more... Uh, fabricator jobs, which I kind of want to do. Although we did have the 
uh, edicts expire. So this is going to be just a tiny bit more expensive. But yeah, I'd like to have at least uh, three and a half K alloys when we're going for our first conquest. Uh, Heavy's Crow Dog, what are the red-yellow uh, boxes around Research Bean? Uh, these indicate tiers. Uh, red is tier 1, Anonymous yellow is tier 2, green is tier 3, blue is tier 4, purple is tier 5, just like the rainbow. I've had people uh, complaining to me that the color scheme doesn't make sense, but bruh, it's literally the rainbow. And I know many games use other different uh, color schemes, but... Like, the games I played just used the rainbow, so... Uh, that's what I decided to go for. It also is the most logical. System survey complete. Special project complete. There we go. Crystalline entities are unbreakable. Uh, now our only issue is, where the hell are the other empires? <laughs> like we need three, we need to kill three empires to make this build work. We only have one over here. Anomalous surface variable detected. Uh, Echo of comet, 3.5k seems kind of low. Uh, the thing is, if you do a bit of uh, hit and run tactics, which we're not really going to be able to do that well. Uh, with them being this far away. But if you do a bit of hit and run tactics and you just kill their star bases, you'll be fine with plasmas. Uh, 20 destroyers can kill AI in year uh, 18 or so. It's a little tight, but it can definitely do it, especially with the crystalline uh, edict. Technological acquisition successful. Hmm. Let's see. I kind of want to have more... Fabricator pops. Yeah, this should be fine. We're giving up some short term research in exchange for longer term gains. Unfortunately, we're not getting the stuff that we need. Hmm. Energy nexus could be nice. Chemical plants could be nice. But we're going to go for improved deflectors just to reroll uh, the tech pool. System survey complete. At this point, I suppose we could also start researching some of these anomalies. System survey complete. Uh, Captain Danielson. Any big hitter against Hull with some uh, shield will kill the AI. Yes. I mean, we, we don't even need shield. We can just go in with uh, pure Hull just because pure Hull is cheap. And we're all about cost efficiency here. Surface variable detected. Let's see. Technological How feasible it is, is it to kill a fallen empire by year 80? Uh, I mean, with this build, it's relatively feasible. And I say that with a with a very long relatively, because you're still gonna need to sweat a lot uh, to get to that point. But like if you're at the point where you can start building mega structure and you're 66, you're Almost at the point where you can start killing fallen empires. Not quite, but as long as you have a proper ship design, you should be able to.
Captain Danielson, I've seen a couple of FE kill builds using cloud, cloud lightning. Surface variable yeah. Detected. All right, I think we should be more or less fine on alloy. Technological acquisition successful. As long as we can actually get the freaking ships that we need, we'll be fine. Let's see. How does disengagement do in combat? Uh, it, disengagement? I, I've done a whole video on disengagement. You should go watch it, because it's great. Uh, basically, if you're inferior to an opponent or superior to an opponent, you could get away with using disengagement, and uh, you're going to get significantly less losses. If you're equivalent, though, you don't want to use disengagement. System survey complete. Unless it's against star bases, but even then, it's, it's kind of iffy. Disengagement is more of an underdog tactic. System survey complete. Let's see, Echo Kame. System oh, complete. I think... I th are you that dude who originally started posting about the Dyson's Fear Rush? Yeah, year 61 uh, Dyson. I did a year 62 Dyson. I almost beat you. Not quite. Technological acquisition successful. Yeah, I mean, uh, this is... Okay, finally, Destroyer Tech. Uh, this is one of the many builds that can achieve this. Like, okay, this is probably the best build for the job. Uh, but there there are builds, such as, for example, Void Dwellers, which, uh, believe it or not, can also uh, do this stuff. Like, Void Dwellers can have 600 tech per month in year 10. Or, like, e even before that, year 6, I've even seen. Because uh, Void Dwellers have the advantage of extreme specialization. Well, in our situation, we don't really have that. Actually, speaking of specialization, soon enough, we're going to specialize our ring world into... Uh, specifically, a research ring world. We're going to have to move our capital, and we're going to need to employ a bit more pops on maintenance, but uh, that is going to be well worth it once we get some more population in our empire. Anomalous surface variable detected. We're out of gas. Again. Fortunately, since we do have crystal uh, production, we can easily afford the crystal boost. Technological acquisition successful. Anomalous surface variable. Reverse engineer arcane technology. I mean, I guess we can go for that. We, we can do that once. Maybe we can get a fallen empire building. Who knows? Successful. Um, I mean, maybe I. Maybe I shouldn't go for space time theory yet. Go for FTL inhibitors. Or, honestly, let's go for survey speed. Like, uh, we can afford to be inefficient with our tech rush in physics. Like, normally System with uh, stuff like engineering, I want to be going for the highest tier possible. System but with the physics, complete. we only need to get up to tier 4 to get the zero point power. So I'm fine with being a little bit wasteful there. All right, we got our first aliens. One entity has decrypted our communications. And they're a hive mind. System survey complete. God damn it. Uh, we actually can't do anything with a hive mind. We cannot assimilate a hive mind, believe it or not. So uh, we're going to need to take our chances with the other communications uh, alien. Or somewhere over here. And uh, we're going to have to hope that they're... Uh, either organic or robots. Surface variable detected. Because if not, this run is going to be kind of scuffed. Alright, we have all our uh, necessary necessary alloys, basically.
But yeah, this is this is not good. Or did I just res oh my god. Look at Stefan being competent again. Alright, there we go. Gotta make sure the planets stay at colony status so that we, we can get the stability and amenities. Sure, let's establish embassy. I, I don't really give a shit about you now. Like, we, we can't do anything with a hive mind empire. With a necrophage, we'd be able to, but not with this build. Uh, if we don't have any organic empires nearby, we might have to just go peaceful, which I, I'm not liking, because we spent a lot of resources on building up alloy production that we could have been using on tech instead. Situation log adjusted. Uh, let's send the science ship over here. Maybe there's a Xeno near the galactic core. Technological acquisition successful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That that resettle fail just set the the whole rush back uh, a decade. Yep, GG guys, we lost. Technological acquisition. All right, we got successful. destroyers. We got destroyer build speed. We got. We don't have plasmas. We do have cold fusion reactors, and I kind of want to go for that. Ah, this is this is so sad. This is so sad. We might be off by a by a factor of five years. If if we get past uh, year sixty six, I'm gonna have to uh, change the thumbnail. This is this is tragic. All right. Star Starbase cap plus two. Why not? How long is that going to take? Nine months? Let's actually just rebuild the star bases. Uh, this is not going to be a year 18 uh, AI Empire Rush. This is more going to be like a year 23 Rush, so we can afford to just upgrade some more star bases and do wonky stuff like that. In fact, we can even expand a little bit. Anomalous surface variable detected. System survey complete. System survey complete. Oh, terminal Situation orbit. I think this is going to give us happiness, right? <laughs> happiness for our uh, big robot brains. All right, let's build another research lab, and then we're going to be done with the stuff. All right, these are organics. That's good. Our economy, though, is looking kind of sad right now. Uh, Malagorn, it's very well intended uh, that we were on negative energy credits, because if you want something else... Oh, wait. One second. Just one second. We got a Voidcraft, dude. I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> yeah, basically we need these guys to be organic so we can actually rush them down. Uh, in fact, let's start building up ships. Uh, they're not going to be plasmas, unfortunately, but I'd rather have some ships than no ships. At least we can queue them up. Alright, so that's going to be 15 ships. Yeah, we're going to need more. We're going to do a bit of ship queuing. Uh, and then we should be able to get like five more ships worth Anomalous of alloys soon enough. Detected. This is fine. Kind of. <laughs> Dead cat, don't change the thumbnail, just add year 66 plus 4. Yes, make people do maths to figure out uh, when we actually get the stuff. 
Alright, I kind of want to go for the extra admin capacity, not gonna lie. Yeah, let's go for that. Uh, also, let's use our five... Hmm. Gambling time. Okay, that's not bad. 5k uh, engineering. I could have saved those uh, those thingies, and I could have instead gone for... Oh, wait. Th th this is not how you queue ships. But yeah, uh, we could have saved those and done the time. decision for incorporate artifact relays, but we're not going to have any uh, Technological drones actually doing that in the next 10 years or so, so it's fine. Construction complete. Construction complete. All right, come on. Give me plasma. Game. Technological acquisition successful. Uh, that's not plasma. That's chemical plants. Anomalous surface variable detected. Why are we in a mineral shortage? I guess we're overproducing alloys? Um... Alright. System survey complete. Situation log adjusted. Come on, game. You know you want to give me uh, plasmas and uh, a nice tasty Xeno right here. Complete. They're probably isolationists. That's why we're not getting to them. <laughs> Dead cat year 69 would be perfect. Uh, I was considering making the the date 69, but like the average is 66 from my experience. A foreign entity <gasps> yes, these aren't hive minds. All right, seek and destroy. Where are they? They're all the way over here. And I bet they have like one planet. Right, let's do some spying on them. Uh, build a fleet and then we're gonna just go and uh, go ham. Like obviously our spy network is not going to be doing anything right now. Uh, but uh, we'll Special set it up for later. Complete. Also, honestly, I should get, real I should get good at uh, the different... Uh, anomalies, because you can get a lot of scientist traits from them. I'm just not being efficient with it. Honestly, I'm seriously considering uh, going positive at energy right now. We have the means to, to do that. Let's do that. Plus, I kind of want some uh, minerals production. Special project complete. Technological acquisition successful. Alright, I guess lasers go brr. I mean, what can I say? Plasmas are usually one of the easiest Anomalous things to get, uh, but apparently this run says no. System survey complete. Technological acquisition successful. System survey complete. Oh, the pop actually auto resettled. That's nice of him. 
Usually auto resettlement takes too long and it's more efficient to just uh, manually do that. Ah, shit. Ah, one second. Alright, that should be enough destroyers. Take care of the problem. But without, uh... The problem is, without plasmas, they're not gonna do very well against uh, a station. Victor's asking why negative energy? Well, uh... No more. Technological acquisition successful. Let's see, we can go for fleet supremacy. Honestly, going for fleet supremacy could be nice. Because uh, what we can do is we can pop the edict, get all the ships built, and then they're going to have the 100 starting XP and the 10% extra uh, damage. Right, once these ships are pumped out, we'll just uh, go to war. This is where the minerals come in. Anomalous surface variable detected. Cruisers. Okay. I mean, if we wait a little bit and just go hangar cruisers, we could potentially just do that instead. We have tier 2 strike craft, right? Do we? I guess we don't. I guess we skipped over the tier 2 strike craft. Alright, never mind then. Uh, if you had tier 2 strike craft, I'd wait patiently and get some uh, carriers in my fleet, but... Because we don't have the tier 2 strike craft, uh, I think just going with a pure destroyer stack is good Anomalous enough. Surface variable detected. Also, let's see if we can get a good Admiral, Logistician, and then I guess we'll go for a Trickster uh, afterwards. Bro, it's gonna take years to even get to their territory. It's gonna suck. Technological acquisition success. Hopefully they're right next to another empire. And of course, this is when we get the plasma throwers. Alright, if we have reinforcements, they're gonna be plasmas, but not gonna help us out too much. Uh, we also need to get some minerals and start building up uh, more research segments soon enough, because we're about to get more population. Like a lot more population. Rugun's asking why I'm making fleet. Uh, there's this empire right here that I want to conquer. I mean, all things considered, we could have easily made this into a peaceful run. There's a lot of planets in the nearby space that are not uh, taken by anyone. Uh, also, speaking of stuff that's getting taken, let me take something real quick from the artisans. Let's go supremacy, because uh, we're probably only going to be able to finish one more surface very uh, tradition tree before we get the mega structures, and going supremacy is going to help us with getting more. Uh, goodies. Ah, uh, we should probably build a couple more armies and then we'll be fine. Situation log adjusted. Uh, let's see. Epidermy, what is uh, the reason to go to conquer empires before they uh, maxed out in an area? Uh, we need pops. 
for research, and we want the pops as early as possible. Also, I totally forgot Fleet Supremacy. Let's just pop that real quick. Wait, actually, we had we had no ships left. Okay, let's let's go back and uh, unpop Fleet Supremacy. That was just a waste of 500 uh, influence, it seems. We have 3.3k worth of fleet power. It's going to take them two years to get there, which means System year 25, I'd say. The conquest. Uh, that's more or less fine. We'll probably hire uh, a general because we don't have a lot of fleet uh, army power. Technological acquisition successful. I'll pop folks in crystals when we get there too. So that's going to bring up the fleet power to like 4k, I'd say. Technological acquisition successful. Alright, star holds. Very good to have. Uh, if we had extra resources, I'd go for exotic gas of this field, but I don't think we could afford that right now. Special project complete. System survey complete. Got some First League artifacts. Let's reverse engineering technology and get more engineering tech. Perfect. Almost forgot about these star bases. Yeah, uh, Vladimir Stefanov, you're completely right. Five pops early is better than ten pops later, or... Ten pops early is better than twenty pops later. Because we can make uh, more use of them in our research facilities. System survey complete. Technological acquisition successful. Alright, antimatter reactors? We're almost there when it comes to uh, zero point power. Which is very good. Technological acquisition successful. Hello, Mega Pop Forges. Perfect. Uh, kill me 304. Yeah, AA Pops are not optimal whatsoever. Uh, but having someone to work the job is necessary. Right, let's go for focusing crystals, and I should probably go for sensors. Situation log adjusted. We can get an extra cruiser uh, to our fleet. Anomalous surface variable detected. Alright, this is going to be a tough fight. This is 4k fleet power versus an enemy empire, uh, which can't potentially flank us around. It's going to take them forever to flank us around, and we'd probably kill success. them before they do, but if they do, uh, that's a problem. Year 22 habitats, anyone? <laughs> that's amazing. Hopefully they don't build a station here just as we're entering in uh, that uh, closes us off, because that kind of suck.
weapon testing. Alien weapons. Situation law. Sure. Adjusted. Let's take a look at these weapons. Is this the one that gives a kinetic battery? Because if it does, uh, that'd be pretty pog. All right, moment of truth. Uh, are we going to see our fleet disappear as we enter the system? Special project complete. No, this system is the one that's uh, going to make us go poof. All right. Normally, I'd save the game here, but uh, meh. Let's just go in. Diplomatic alert. War protocols initiated. Special project complete. Alien lasers. So we can either get uh, x-rays or tier 4 armor, but we, we, we don't need it, armor, so we'll go for lasers. Let's go for sensors. Let's see what they have. Uh, nothing, it seems. And this station has 600 fleet power, so that's easy. Logical acquisition successful. Oh! Oh, okay, that is good. I'm sorry for the lewd noises, but that is uh, living metal. Uh, we... Oh, my freaking god. Alright, so we're gonna probably expand out of this territory then. We do want living metal. That is good shit. Really good shit. System survey complete. See, let's reinforce our fleet a little bit. Very well detected. I actually will reinforce off of this uh, station. I like to get a a chokehold uh, in this empire. Hostile fleet assets engage. Hostile stationary asset engaged. Yeah, lasers aren't nearly as good at uh, station cracking as plasmas are, but whatever. Anomalous surface. We're gonna make some plasmas detected. on this station. System survey complete. I declare rivalry. Oh, okay, I see. How Our fleet is a little bit scuffed, but we're just gonna keep carrying on because. Uh, we want to get this war done ASAP. Uh, I'll probably take this... Mm. Oh, OBS disconnected. It's trying to reconnect. Uh, there might be a uh, stream delay. Reconnection successful. Alright, OBS is back. Sorry about that, if you experienced any buffering. surface variable detected. Uh, it's kind of sus that their fleet, is, their fleet is not yet seen. It means that they're probably not split up and we might actually see some issues here. Uh, but that's fine. We have uh, cruisers on our side. Yeah, Alex DeVry, uh, living metal is uh, the dream. Like, this is quite amazing. Network 6 connected. Alright, there might be slightly lower bitrate, uh, which I might need to uh, deal with. Construction complete. Not allowed to merge? What do you mean, not allowed to merge? Alright, that's kind of BS. Anomalous surface variable detected. Situation log adjusted. Alright, bitrate should be back. I'm sorry for these technical 
issues, but... Uh, Technological acquisition successful. Yeah, we're back. No, oh, bitrate for whatever reason is really low. I'm gonna go yell at uh, yell at everyone else in the household to uh, get their internet uh, to stop uploading stuff. Technological acquisition successful. Yeah. All right. Give me a second. Uh, I'll pull up the engineering tech tree. Uh, do not leave. We will. Uh, we'll continue this on in a second. I'll be right back. And we're back. I <laughs> gotta get Starlink internet, yes. Alright, let's see, how are we gonna deal with this? How are we going to deal with this? Uh, I guess we can engage this fleet first. And then we'll engage the other fleet. It seems that they might have bugged it a little bit. Or not, I hear them moving. Yep. Looks like they were just waiting for us to get into the system. They might attack us from two directions. Alright, so we took this station. Are they going to invade? No, they're not going to invade. Are these guys going to invade? Not really. Right, let's go for their capital, in that case. Alright, now this is the part where I bitch about my internet. Uh, but basically, the... Oh my lord. This fleet has a better hyperdrive, doesn't it? Yeah, this is the part where I complained about uh, my internet provider, but uh, I actually switched the plan to a gigabit internet connection, but it didn't increase the upload speed at all. Like, Comcast doesn't offer increased uh, upload speed, it only increases the download speed. Bro, the bitrate is still low. Alright. I might have to, uh... Might have to deal with this again. Uh, one second. Well, at least you can see that we're winning this war, so... Uh, that's positive news. <laughs> Look at my gaming chair. More.
Yeah, this is the authentic uh, Stefan Anon streaming experience. Holy shit. Ah. <sighs> And we're actually going to go to that system because it seems that the AI is trying to intercept us and cut us off, but not going to let them. Alert. Spaceport engaged. Looks like our cruiser is going to take the brunt of the damage. System survey complete. Alright, so we managed to kill their fleets, and now we will take their land. Now we should also upgrade our uh, research segment. And yeah, look at the bitrate, it's back to normal. Holy shit. We're back, baby. Alright, uh, our fleet power, or our army power rather, should be enough to take out their capital. So let's actually send over the transport fleet acquisition by successful. itself. Yeah, god, this, uh, this cruiser is gonna die eventually. Nope, it disengaged. The cruiser is still alive. Also looks like we're way over on energy credits. Let's do some uh, buying stuff in that case. Biden's equivalent of a connection. Goddamn. Pacification protocols initiated. Anomalous surface variable detected. Let's go chase down their fleet and uh, take out their last station. Successful. Ground invasion units have achieved all objectives. Let's do our. Uh, good old fashioned static research analysis. Gotta give us some more research alternatives, which is excellent. Alert, spaceport engaged. And now the biggest issue is going to be trying to find another empire. Because. <laughs> oh, bunker bot. Let's uh, grab that 10% extra engineering research speed. We have to find another empire. Like, I did this run with uh, only finding a single empire to kill, and uh, the results were not very good. And by not very good, I mean... Uh, we had some minor problems with getting the mega, mega structure getting built in year 70 instead of year uh, 62. So this might be... Uh, might be a little uh, rough around the edges. Fortunately, these guys seem to be just ejecting their armies into space, which is excellent. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping he doesn't come back with blood on his shirt. Ah, don't worry. I want to go that far, right? At least you hope. Uh, we're probably not going to capture their last planet until we can get at uh, these two systems. Because I do want to go for the living metal. And I don't want to stake all the way from here or all the way from here to get there. But these are 1.1k stations. These actually would cause losses. Eh, whatever. Planetary pacification protocols we have time. We can build over to living metal. We only need loving metal in like year 50, so it's okay.
Uh, let's see, we're back to negative energy. Which means that our fleet might have just gotten uh, its ass kicked. Ground invasion units have nah, not really. Objectives. You don't want to be engaged in a, in a fight with a with negative de economy. And that's exactly what we did, because we have all these trade deals. Alright, there we go. That's the final station. Uh, I think our economy tanked because we also took over one of the planets here. And uh, planets like these have you know, various alloy mega forges, stuff like that, that actually uh, consume a lot of energy. What do you mean the, the stream is having issues? I'm just dropping all the frames right now. That's weird. Stream has been good since you got back. Well, now it's... Come on, come on, you can do it, you can do it. There we go, the fucking thing is finally green. Oh, nope, drop frames, drop frames. This is just... I, I will have to eject people into space if this continues. All right, I'm so sorry about this, this is just... Uh, your life in America. Alright, we're about to invade the final planet, and uh, we have to go back uh, to kill another AI empire. Hopefully there's another empire up north. Well, at least there's curators up north. Alright, we're actually back to normal now. Holy shit. bit more subs and then I can afford Starlink. Yeah, that's that's the way you uh, got to think about the situation. Look, if I get enough, uh, if I get enough donations, I'll, I'll fucking get Starlink. I'll just put a what is a big radio dish on my uh, on my house. Pay Elon Musk two hundred bucks a month. Planetary pacification protocols initiated. All right, we're actually probably going to make this uh, planet our energy planet, uh, just because we're going to want to supplement our uh, main world. Let's see, Iron Pirate Sprawl is actually an issue now, so let's 
enable and upgrade our network junction. Successful. Take care of our Empire's Pro problem. Look, do we know if Starlink Internet is good? Well, uh, the Elon Musk fanboys say it's good, therefore it must be good, right? That's how the world works. Alright, we got 127 pops now, we need more. We just need more pops. These pops aren't going to be useful, uh, although worst case scenario, we will invade the hive mind just to take their planets. Alright, let's see. We are a little behind on schedule. Uh, we're in year 28, and we only got our first set of uh, pops conquered, but that's more or less fine, I guess. Uh, there was a primitive planet somewhere. I definitely saw the pop-up. So let's see where they are. They're all the way over here. They have 28 pops. Holy moly. Alright, so, so apparently we had 28 pops just sitting at our doorstep the entire time. I see how it is. Let's go uh, invade them. A foreign entity has a Communications, curators, great. Yeah, I should make a hive mind uh, named uh, the Elon Fanboy Coalition. They could tell me how good Teslas are and uh, how they're uh, absolutely the future and not some uh, gag for rich people. Get the Great Gave for reduced uh, upgrade costs. And we're going to go and get, uh, what's it called? System survey complete. Uh, more research on our home planet. Now, we're also going to want to make a new sector for these planets and assign them, I don't know, this dude. We're very temporarily out of energy credits, but that's okay, I guess. <laughs> Talk bad about Elon's stream goes bad. God damn it. The muskites are trying to cut into my internet. Those goddamn fanboys. <laughs> Throwing like back. Ed? Damn. Alright, so the current FCC report is saying Starlink averages 100 megabit uh, download, 20 megabit upload, with 30 milliseconds latency. I mean, that's... it's four times better upload than uh, the shit I have, so... Who knows? Maybe I do need to bow down to, uh, to Muskie. I do have to say, though, uh... Even if we don't have another empire, 
somewhere nearby. It's not as terrible as it could be. Because uh, we do have these primitives over here. So in theory, we could make this work. In practice, uh, I don't know about that. We're getting like th this space is so I'm empty. I've never empty. I've never been in this situation before. Well, it's just like me here, a useless empire here, and the only useful empire is. Uh, let's count the systems: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen systems away from the capital, bruh. That ain't cool, yo. Dread it, run from it, destiny arrives all the same. Alright, I don't know if two armies are enough to invade. Oh, they're not enough to invade. But I kind of don't want to wait for these guys to come over, because that's going to take them a thousand days. Technological acquisition successful. Ah, uh, we have way too much, way too much, uh, coordinators. Now that's looking better. And that's looking better. Perfect. Construction complete. Construction templates are something I kind of do want, but metallurgist output is also good. I don't know, man. This is a rare tech, so we'll go for it. So we got arrested development on our governor. All right, wonderful. All right, let's employ one of the the new cyborgs. Hopefully, he'll do a better job than our beep boop. Tobias, I pay 50 freedom money per month for 220, 340. Bro, it's not even... It, it's not even that uh, America is bad, it's just that my area is horrible. There's one internet provider that provides uh, copper instead of Wi-Fi, and it's Comcast. Like, I, I'm not... Okay. Look, I, I can't switch over to uh, AT&T, but they're, they're gonna give me uh, wireless. I'm not going to stream on wireless. That's just not going to happen. Well, considering the track record of this company, I might as well try. System survey complete. A Galatron get? All right, let, let, let's. Well, <laughs> we're too poor to even try for the Galatron. Technological acquisition successful. Uh, let's see. Let's go for extra monthly influence. I do we go for extra monthly influence? I'd rather go for reduced deviancy, because deviancy is soon going to be a problem on our capital. Let's try to make sure that doesn't happen. Hey, we got a stagnant ascendancy, so, uh, yes, the empire over here? Fallen empire. Oh, of course they're a fallen empire. See, we have a lot of energy production. Uh, I mean, alloys production. Uh, we might as well build up our starports. Because we do need six successful. upgraded starports to get uh, an increased likelihood of mega structures. Let's keep going for energy. We have a lot of energy workers in our empire, and it's uh, working quite well for us. I 
get the rest of the house on AT&T so I can get Comcast myself. Good idea, except when they just cut the internet. <laughs> this this is now an internet discussion stream. Freaking, I did not want this to happen. Uh, at this point, we could probably afford another research segment. Maybe. Kind of want to afford another research segment. Let's let's go for another research segment. Like, our economy is doing not wonderfully well, but, uh, fine. So, uh, let's, let's keep it that successful. way. Let's see. I hate how we're still on tier 2 techs. Technological acquisition I mean, I guess we got, we got a few uh, good techs, but... God, these tech rolls, they're not good at all. Go for a dead end tech, I guess. Or subsidies are nice, and uh, resource processing centers too. Our fleet is back and fully repaired. Let's go invade this planet real quick and get some more primitives. Planetary for our name. Pacification protocols initiated. I love this derelict cruiser. I love how it's just uh, not merging with our fleet because it has a better hyperdrive. Let's see, can we upgrade our normal ships? I, I kind of want to merge them. Eh. I guess not. <laughs> Special project complete. We got a minor artifact. Do we have enough to incorporate artifact relays? Yes, we do. Some extra stability right there. Ground invasion units have achieved all objectives. Alright, we got primitives. So, we're gonna identity supplement them, but uh, we got an event popping up because these guys have a dead god on their planet. But we can give them plus 25% resources from all jobs. I wonder if that's gonna stay as they're getting assimilated. I hope it does. But that is going to be awesome. We are the dead god. Now, year 32, doing relatively well. Technological acquisition successful. Build another research segment. Uh, we'll probably want another two research segments, in fact. Uh, we gotta get our tech output higher. We're only at 1k. I've had runs where I had 2k by this point. Uh, Landion Peanut, is for subsidies useful? Uh, I misspoke. Uh, they're not useful at all. <laughs> I was thinking more about the Research Processing Center. For subsidies, uh, look at that. It, it increases upkeep by 1, and it gives 10% middle order just output. Like, in vacuum, that's good, but considering edict capacity, it's horrible. And this could be a mineral world. There's a lot of uh, resources to go Technological to, to get from success. specialization. And if we're not specializing, we're playing stuff inefficiently. And you know how much I hate that. Construction complete. Construction complete. Construction complete. Let's check some solar panels on these guys. Logical acquisition successful. Hey OBS, are you gonna reconnect?
And the reconnection is successful. All right, cool. <laughs> Elon's got him, boys. I might genuinely have to take down the stream because, well, take down the stream after it's done. Uh, like, I'll, I'll still keep streaming for you guys, but I, I might have to make a video out of this instead of uh, keeping this up as a stream because the quality isn't exactly uh, top notch. Let's see, are these guys getting the extra bonuses from. Oh my god, they are getting the extra bonuses. Holy shit. So they're convicted for the next 20 years. Uh, I might want to resettle these guys to our home planet. Like, a lot of them to our home planet. Because that is amazing. Alright, there we go. Alright, our tech output is starting to rise. Uh, we still need another research segment. Uh, but it's not bad right now. Whew. Technological acquisition successful. New encounter in the black hole? Is it aliens? Nope, it's just void clouds. Of course there wouldn't be aliens nearby. Alright, Star Fortress. Planetary Supercomputer. All of these are very good. And I mean, if we take this uh, just in a vacuum, uh, getting Star Fortresses in year 33, getting habitats in year 30, uh, what is it, 23, that's just amazing. Speaking of habitats, we can build one. And we will want to build one uh, to make sure that we can. Uh, you know, get the 2x multiplier for mega structures to happen. Technological acquisition successful. These seem to be aliens, for once. Uh, but our fleet isn't exactly up to par to take them. Construction complete. Construction complete. Construction complete. F food? Yeah, right. Oh, we're getting there, we're getting there. All of these convicted pops have now been assimilated, and we're actually going to make this planet the dedicated food world. A foreign entity has decrypted. Right, we got the void clouds. Uh, honestly, I should probably reduce the amount of ally workers we have for a sec. Because uh, allies are good and all, but we don't necessarily need allies right now, and I'd rather have uh, resources to resettle pops and fix up our planets. Look at these blockers real quick. That way we'll have more pops of cram on the planet. Technological acquisition successful. Alright, so right now we're at the point where we got uh, the all the techs we need to get the prerequisites. We have uh, star fortresses, we have cruisers, and we have antimatter reactors. Uh, this means that 
technological. If we get the other techs in about 16 years, we'll be uh, Gucci. Oh my god. Let's see. How many tier 3 techs do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 even. Alright, so at this point, it is worth going for the lower techs just to do some uh, re rolling. And also to get some bonuses, like top assembly speed plus 10%. Can't say no to that. Technological acquisition successful. Alright, so we met the Zero Corp. Good to know. Alright, cool. So that's some inefficiency is dealt with. We still need about... Uh, what's it called? 500 more tech. But we can get that. Uh, we'll also go for the curators soon enough. Like, we're currently at uh, plus 180 energy credits per month. I do want to go for the curator deal ASAP. Technological it's going to cost us 3k. Successful. Which is just fine. Also, uh, what is not fine is we're going to have to go for six of these higher tier technologies uh, in total. And that's going to be difficult. Stefan, I think you need to apologize to Elon. I'm so sorry, uh, Ewan. Ewan Muskie. You're the greatest, right? Greatest uh, innovator billionaire of our time. Yes, yes. I'm merely a humble consumer. Let me uh, let me buy your Tesla for uh, eighty thousand dollar nose. Yes, yes. A foreign entity has decrypted our Megacorp. All right, let's see here. Uh, by this point, our tiny fleet isn't going to do much. And these guys are actually behind the hive mind. But I guess we have good relations with the hive mind, so it's fine. I guess it's fine. We could potentially invade these guys still. Uh, let's do that. We have resources. Let's build a fleet. Acquisition successful. Zero point reactor. Okay, so that's one of the three prerequisites for mega engineering. Uh, let's see, can we go for tier two strike craft? No, we can't. Uh, let's actually go for larger weapons. Let's just go for plasma throwers. Uh, I didn't go for upgraded plasma throwers because I figured we'd be fine with just our current situation, but. Uh... I'd rather take these guys if I can. Anyone ex excited for 3.1? Uh, I've heard that 3.1 was coming, but I never found a dev diary or anything about 3.1. Uh, what, what's, what's happening in 3.1? 
please do let me know. I start researching these anomalies. These should be at the point of uh, giving us the maximum 10,000 uh, reward. So we should be able to make stonks off of these. And before I forget, we also need to go ahead and expand uh, to get a living metal. How much would it cost to just plop a station down there? Yeah, we could afford it. We don't really need much influence. Like, we're... I'm glad I queued that, by the way, That because that's a habitat getting built. Uh, but yeah, we don't need all that much influence, which is good. Alright, now we're overproducing food, but that's fixable. There we go. <laughs> Easy fix. Right, let's build another research segment once we can. We're finally getting to a point where our research is reasonable for this build. Not, not quite. We need to be at 2k. We're not at 2k, so it's not fine. Technological acquisition successful. Situation log adjusted. Anomalous surface variable detected. <laughs> just... I don't think AI has a significantly large fleet at this point. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, we're not going to be getting anywhere close to a uh, finishing supremacy. So yeah. Well, nah, we're, we're not going to be finishing supremacy and starting another tree. Like, uh, we're going to be able to finish supremacy just by the time we need it. Just by the time we need the second ascension perk. Getting Ascension Theory, though, is going to be a bit of a, a rough stretch of our Empire building. Let's see, we can always almost afford the Curator successful. trade deal. Oh my god, they raised the prices to 4k! System survey complete. They raised the prices to 4k just as we're about to buy more stuff from them. Successful. This is a scumbag move. So speaking of scumbag moves, like just, just look at that. We have access to tier 4 technologies and engineering, and we're not getting tier 4 technologies. We had access for so many techs by this point. But no. Game no likey. Ay, ay, ay. Or maybe I should, uh, instead of praying to Elon, I should pray to Comcast, become a domestic servant for, uh, for their mega corporation. Bro, we got scum and villainry on this planet. This is bad. This is really bad. Uh, let's build Sentinel Post. Because there is a chance of an event firing that gives us minus 30 stability. And that would completely kill the run. Alright, Sentinel Posts. Let's go. Is Elegate system worth it? Yes, it is. Mm 
Just not in this run. Should be replacing this building instead. Alright, I hope these sentinel posts are gonna do it. Uh, we'll probably need to build one more set. But, uh, yeah, this is, this is not good. Let's move our capital already. What's our next biggest planet? This one. This way we can make this uh, world a research ring world. Technological <clears throat> acquisition successful. Although that is going to cause more deviancy issues. Shoot. Alright, that's fine. At least we're getting like 2k uh, science output already. It's pretty good. Uh, can we hire a governor to reduce deviancy? I think we can. I just don't want to roll for it. I want to get the extra science. I think we could complete. take care of deviance with sentinel posts and stuff like that. Technological acquisition successful. <laughs> Comcast Megacorp building coming. Bro, it's incoming considering how these tech rolls are just not getting us what we want. Like, I'm, I'm getting a tier 1 tech to reroll to possibly get a tier 4 tech. Technological acquisition successful. Alright, curators. Gib. Research assistance. Thank you. Alright, now we're at plus 48% research progress for engineering. It's pretty good. Technological acquisition successful. Oh, alien spacecraft. Situation log Ah, uh, that's the rubricator, isn't it? Technological acquisition successful. I can't quite afford to replace these guys, because then amenities are a problem. How do we square this circle? Uh, I guess we replace some of the alloy output because we don't need this much. I don't even have machine assembly plants on these. This is looking more and more like a year 30, uh, year 70, rather, mega structure run, which is fine. Special project complete. Uh, Hyrulean, yes, the, the Hunter Secret drones are Situation employed. Log adjusted. And it looks like we got uh, this planet right here that we're definitely going to survey and uh, exploit for minor artifacts. Technological acquisition successful. System survey complete. I don't think I've ever seen tech rolls this bad before. I'm not gonna lie. Holy moly. Situation log adjusted. Technological acquisition successful. Energy from jobs plus 25% on our energy planet. I see how it is. I see how it is. Ah, uh, what's it? Habitat. Yes. We have more tier 4 techs in our society tree than we do in our freaking engineering tree. 
What what is this? What is this? Alright, let's uh war deck these guys. And they have an alliance, of course they do. A foreign entity has decrypted our greetings. Mr. Alliance Man. Alright, at least we took care of the deviancy issue. It is costing us six pops, though, which is... <sighs> Not good. Focusing crystals are going to cost us 141. Jesus. Construction complete. It's a lot. All right, 7.4k from Solar Sailor. And right, finally, we're getting tier 4 techs. Let's go for that metal or just output. Successful. Proton launchers, all right, all right. System survey complete. System survey complete. All right, there's the Crystal Edict. Cost us an arm and a leg, but got it. And we got Arrested Development. Of course we did. Uh, let's do some resettlement. Because pops that aren't working are pops that are uh, inefficient. Speaking of inefficiency, our growth speed is just sad right now. I mean, we'll, we'll be doing some artificial growth by just uh, taking over other people's space, but... Yeah, it's kind of... kind of a surrogate, really. Rather than uh, the real deal. Let's see. I don't think these guys will have a lot of fleet power, but their stations are not looking to be uh, very easy to take out. Like, we'll probably lose the Derek Cruiser, for example. Maybe not. I actually set my army to follow that. Let's uh, correct that real quick. Planetary settlement procedure initiated. All right, there we go. We can make that our forward starbase. Anomalous surface variable detected. Technological acquisition successful. We got dark matter even, so it looks like we got all the strategics except for Zro. By the way, when did they change the mining station output to be up to 30%? Acquisition it's way more than I remember it being. System survey complete. We're at the point where we have to go for another uh, Nexus segment, because housing is just a severe problem right now. Let's see, their fleet is here. 
a lot more fleet power than I thought it was uh, going to be. So we're actually just going to retreat as soon as we can. Because we can't take their fleet and that station together. Are they going to take and... Uh, uh, take initiative and invade? They might. Let's see. If we're fast enough, we'll be able to repair and defend the station and then uh, go from here. Because we already got a forward base of operations. Uh, with this guy. Technological acquisition successful. Construction complete. Once this next segment is up, all of these problems are going to be fixed easily. Uh, low brow, I think is just a tooltip change. No, I think the effects are actually higher. I'm going to check how much resources our starbases are producing. It seems to be a whole lot. Uh, let's see, like this right here. So that's 19. Uh, do I see how much base it is? No, I actually don't see how much base it is, but I'm pretty sure... Technological I'm pretty sure it's way less than 19 uh, base production. Alright, we got these ships repaired. Uh, let's start to build more ships. I like how I keep not going for... Uh, <laughs> or hangar bays. I mean, hangar bays aren't the most efficient thing to go for, so that's why I'm not going for them, but uh, it's starting to cost us. Colossi worth it? Uh, if you want Total War, yeah. Uh, that's basically their only purpose except for uh, blowing up Crisis Planets faster. Like, Colossi aren't great at all because you want pops and blowing up other planets is kind of like counterintuitive. You, you're blowing up pops. Records identified? Well, we need those minerals. I don't care about relations. What I do care about is the fact that we're out of gas. Surface settlement is uh, so, once we get some machine assembly plants up and running, I'll get some gas plants. Let's see, that's a good chunk of fleet power, but we're making our own fleet power pretty quickly. System survey complete. All things considered, we're not doing that bad, no uh, but our engineering tree is, like, I'm, I I'm really saddened about uh, our engineering roles. Like, we're almost at the final tier of tech in physics, but engineering, even though we got a lot of modifiers for it, we have one, two, tier four techs, which means we we're going to need to research this one and then three more. Add to your text before we can get mega engineering. Technological acquisition successful. See, let's. Uh... Okay, let's go for Strikecraft. Uh, low Broad Deluxe, DA Colossus literally auto assimilates. Uh, you know what else you could do? You could invade the planet and it's going to assimilate uh, slightly slower, but it's going to assimilate very, very quickly Construction either way. Complete. Like, DA assimilation is so busted that making it instant with a Colossus saves you, like, two years. 
Especially if you resettle. If you resettle the pops that you conquer, it's just... Uh, it's just a case of a year. Like, the yearly assimilation tick is going to happen, and you're you're good to go. The only thing that I didn't mention that uh, Colossus uh, is good at is uh, Fallen Empire. Fallen Empire is nice. Technological acquisition successful. We still need to get battleships and uh, citadels. Uh, so for citadels, I'm going to upgrade three of my success. stations to star fortresses. And then for mega engineering, we should be good to go there already. See, do we need industrial sec? Ah, we need all these segments. All right, so our ring world is built up basically. Uh, so let's start building up some more other planets. I'm gonna cancel this trade deal. We're gonna want to build up uh, these habitats and these other planets to actually produce some minerals for us, like this one, for instance. And these ones. Technological acquisition successful. Right, we got 9k here. We should be able to invade uh, once these new fleets are ready. Successful. How many two years can matter? Well, yeah, but at the same time, it's you can either save two years or save an Ascension Perk slot. Ten years of engineering research. And about... Successful. Uh, 3,000 alloys? So, it's not universally a good thing. Like, the Colossus is expensive as fuck. Like, it's a super weapon, so of course it's expensive. Uh, but it's not... Like, in practicality, it's not very good. Now let's give this guy uh, some range, or I mean, a, a trickster could work too. Let's go for a trickster. I don't want to take many losses against these guys. Actually, th these guys are positioned very close to the high plane. This is awesome. We're going to be able to take them and then take the station afterwards. Two oh seven pops. I want to increase my pop count by at least a factor of two. acquisition successful advanced habitats uh let's see i mean we could take advanced strike i don't really want to take advanced strike craft but it's gonna keep showing up anyway so might as well take it now and forever hold my peace complete <laughs> like the borders here We're going to heal up at this station, then we're going to continue our advance. We should be good to go for conquering the rest of this guy's empire.
Oh wait, I did not go for mining techs because I wanted to avoid uh, getting... Th okay, okay, this is a problem. We don't have a lot of mining efficiency. So going for mineral workers is not very optimal in our case. I, I totally thought we went for mining techs, considering the amount of uh, low tier technology we were getting, but guess not. Let's keep advancing. Technological acquisition successful. Diplomatic Assimilator is best assimilator. I mean, Driven Assimilator, just no matter how you spin it, it's Technological incredible. Acquisition successful. I, mean, I guess we can go for mining techs. Planetary pacification protocols initiated. We do need minerals. Technological acquisition successful. Do we need min I mean, one twelve alloys per month should be enough to get us enough enough alloy in total. Uh, let's go for a living. Let's go for a living metal. It's gonna be two years. By the time we're done with living metal, uh, the reasoning for living metal here uh, is by the time we're done with it, we should be done with these uh, star fortresses. So the chance of citadels should be relatively high. I'm using the term should a lot because this is all theoretical. Technological acquisition successful. Technological acquisition successful. Lobar Deluxe, how did it do harmony? Ah, okay. You guys are talking about Imperium. Uh, I'm gonna go around here. Hopefully bait their fleet so I don't have to engage them and the station at the same time. Construction complete. Construction right, so we got our complete. star fortresses uh, built up. This is very good. It means that citadels have a 3x uh, multiplier to uh, them appearing in engineering. And since we are we have access to your four technologies, we should see them appear. In theory. Conquered this planet here. What we gotta do is unemploy some of our alloy workers. Alert, spaceport deconstructed. It looks like these guys are pushing through. They're going to die at the station. If not that station, then this station. 
Oh, look at that. They're invading. Technological oh, no. They successful. ran. Weak. Those are weaklings. Technological acquisition successful. Ah, uh, why don't these guys invade? They have armies? They have armies, but not enough. It's like the first time uh, a general is actually coming in handy. Planetary pacification protocols initiated. Construction complete. Alright, awesome. So we're sitting at 230 pops. A bit low, complete. but we can get that number up. 251 pops now. Perfect. And I'm honestly just gonna start spamming energy. At this point. So we're fine on alloys, we're fine on tech. Well, kind of fine on tech. More tech is good. Uh, at this point, we just have to take the pops, make sure our economy doesn't die, and we should be golden. Shade Dust, can we get a Stefan advisor voice? <laughs> Min Max, you're more properly dum dum. Let's say it in a very, very soft voice. Oh, they retook the station. Wow. Do these have? Do these guys have minerals to offer us? No, because they're sus of a, they're sussy of uh, our empire. These guys are also very sus of our empire. Technological acquisition successful. Let's see, come on. Four months. Then we get citadels, then we get battleships, and then we're uh, at mega engineering. Hopefully. Detected. That should take care of the moats issue. What this plan is all about. Minerals. And these guys want peace. Uh, we're not going to give them peace. Because we still need at least 100 pops. Alright, let's reroll. With afterburners. Protocols. We can't afford to extend our curator deal, unfortunately. Come on. Like, we literally have a uh, Voidcraft. Ground invasion units have achieved all objectives. Alright, so we took care of this empire. Uh, so let's invade their ally. Technological acquisition successful. Neutronium armor. 
screw it. Let's go for minerals. That's going to put a lot more text in the pool, but we actually kind of need minerals. Technological acquisition successful. Going on with these planets. Consumer goods. The hell? Alert. Station engaged. acquisition successful. Go for more gas plants. Technological acquisition successful. Technological acquisition successful. Citadels, finally. Year 50. We might be on track for a year 66. But just barely. Communications alert. Got minor artifacts, which means we have a bunch more stability here. We're gonna upgrade the system conflicts. Get more resources. Um, our army's got a little messed up. Fortunately, we did take this system. Uh, I want to clean up these little straggler fleets, though. Actually, maybe not. We'll just take over this space. Uh, build another fleet to kill the stragglers, and then once we need the alloys, we'll downgrade the fleet and uh, recover some of the costs. Technological acquisition successful. Energy Nexus. We still need Ascension Theory, but that can wait. Alert. Hostile fleet assets detected. <laughs> they thought they could sneak behind us. Nope. Uh, let's also make a new sector for these guys as well. I'm aware we have too many amenities on this planet. Hopefully, we can remedy that by employing more pops. We are also finally sufficient on gas. Uh, homemade ga gas guys. Good, good stuff. Technological acquisition successful. The plasma cannons could be helpful. Once we build the system conflicts, our sprawl issues are going to be fixed. And we have even more stability on our planet. Perfect. 
We fit our supremacy, which means we can go for a war doctrine. Uh, which is going to be rapid deployment. Uh, but we're not going to go for supremacy. We don't really need supremacy. It gives us less war exhaustion and more naval cap, but that's... Yeah. How's the reverse, reverse engineer? NK engineering. That is Pog. Right, citadels are researched. Now we need to re-roll and get uh, battleships. I hope that's not going to be too difficult, but it might cause some issues. Keep running out of food. I don't know what's up with that. Acquisition successful. I guess we need to get a food planet up. That's a proper food planet. Technological acquisition successful. <gasps> Battleships. Okay, okay, we're on track. We're on track. Let's see, and we have living metal too, so let's build that. And holy shit, this might be a year 66 run. Now what we need to do is get our uh, alloy output up. Because the chances of, get of us getting mega structures uh, very soon are fairly high. Your processing center. I wish that we got that earlier. Technological acquisition uh, successful. I guess we can go for that. That's six pops, but we can afford it. I don't know what planet the pops got taken from, but does it really matter? Not really. Waste for processing centers are great. Like they cost nothing to build, and they give us uh, resources straight up. There we go. <laughs> Jump drives, Lamau. Technological acquisition. There we go. Success. Mega structural engineering. Honestly, I want to check what sort of weight we have on this. Just forgive me, but I'm gonna do uh, console, right? Actually, wait. I'm not sure if I can check the uh, the tech weight with debug tooltip. Uh, I'll try though. Uh, debug tool tips. Uh, tool tip. What is the weight for this tech, even? Yeah, 5,000 weight. So by doing all the things that we did, we get 5,000 weight for mega structures to show up. That's pretty incredible. All right, we're going to disable debug tool tip because it's uh, kind of cheesy. And it is using console commands, but uh, that's good to know that using this build, you get... Basically guaranteed mega structural engineering. Uh, as long as you complete. get all the other prerequisites, of course. So now is just alloy time. Construction complete.
This feels good, man. I had 31 months to get this. That's still a while. Uh, but we should be good to go. Uh, one thing we gotta keep in mind is that we don't want to pick our next uh, tradition. Because we want to save uh, unity for the ambitions. Let's see, do we have six techs? One, two, three, four, five, six techs. Okay, so we have access to the unity ambitions, we just have to reroll for it. So let's reroll dead end techs until we get uh, ambitions. And then we can get architectural renaissance, which gives us plus 50% uh, speed, which is amazing. I hope these guys don't get cut. I don't think they will. Technological acquisition successful. All right, we got a repeatable already. Ah, uh, that's a good sign. They just keep rerolling text until we get unity ambitions. Ah, oh, the fleet did get caught. Alright, let's set the home base to this station so that it teleports over here. Ah, uh, when it's destroyed. Uh, let's go to the curators. Buy 10% research speed bonus. We got the 10k alloys necessary for the first uh, thing we gotta do, which is to upgrade our ring world section. Communications alert. Alright, we hit war exhaustion. Uh, but we'll still try to take a couple of these guys as planets because they do have alloy production. Planetary pacification protocols. Uh, honestly, at this point, replicators are unnecessary. Uh, we're not really going to get a lot of benefit out of them. Uh, as much as they will consume alloys. By the way, this is definitely something you wouldn't do in a normal run. Uh, but in, in this challenge, obviously we want the best time possible. All stench. Planetary pacification protocols. Let's see, can we do another Initiate. reverse engineer? Adaptive combat algorithms. That's fine. Eighteen months till mega structures. Yeah, we're we're pretty much ready to go. Uh, honestly, we're just gonna auto piece them uh, once we take their final planet, or will we take their planet? We might not. Right, this is this is a fight. One robot versus one uh, freaking defensive soldier. If this guy wins. He'll be able to uh, slaughter all the disengaged troops. Come on. Logical acquisition successful. I, I guess I guess he's not going to be able to. Let's bombard the hell out of this planet then.
we do kind of need the the ambition. Excuse me, sir. I have uh, foundries prioritized. Thank you. Successful. Communications. Alert. All right, their army is dead. Let's go take the planet and then end the war. Because I want to disband my fleet. Protocols initiated. It's gonna be four and a half thousand alloys to our name right there. Uh, what builds are the best for chill runs? Honestly, my best and most favorite chill build is just Tree of Life High Mind. It's the build I played originally in 3.0, and it's still great. It's a powerful build that feels nice successful. and that works very well. So look at that, plus 59%. A penalty due to Empire's Brawl. Like, really? We're slightly over our uh, admin cap, and we can't do research because of that. SMH. I think one more uplink node should do it. Yep. Fortunately, our uh, tech progression is not going to be lost uh, due to this little inconvenience. Technological acquisition successful. Yeah. <laughs> Border gore? Nah, you don't say. It's horrible. We're actually capped on alloys, so we better get the mega structural engineering done quickly. I guess I can dump some of the alloys uh, into citadels, and then I can cancel them later. This is going to serve as makeshift storage. <laughs> why aren't I close to cap? The reason why I'm not close to cap is because we just conquered another empire. Technological acquisition successful. Uplink nodes are about to finish though, so that's gonna logical acquisition successful. Finish stuff off for us. Perfect. Uh, let's go and upgrade our first ring section. Uh, since we have living metal, we can also do that. That's gonna be hella expensive though. Jesus Christ, that is going to ruin us. Still need it. God, this is disgusting. Ah, uh, we can't sell minerals. I kind of don't want to sell alloys. But I kind of do need living metal. So let's get scammed by this. Augmentations completed. Perfect. Scamming complete. And now our big ring is getting built 50% faster. Uh, now all we need is uh, the Unity Ambition to get another 50% to uh, build speed. Technological acquisition successful. And after that, all we really need is uh, time. Time and a bit of patience. I might have uh, overdone it with Alifoundry's TBH. Alright, so we're gonna keep that tradition. 
technological acquisition successful. Got to keep re-rolling until we can get uh, the goodies, and then we'll uh, we'll see the final time for this run. Probably speed up the game significantly at this point. Technological acquisition successful. Ah, uh, just give me ambitions. Just give ambition. All I ask for. Right, I guess we we can do some resettlement. I want to stabilize our economy, and then we can do some micro micromanagement. Technological acquisition successful. Sell moats? Yes, let's sell mo more moats. Mo moats. Yeah, at this point I can probably answer some questions. Uh, speaking of wasted alloys. Technological Bam. acquisition successful. Honestly, we could have been slightly more efficient in this run. Uh, we could have built less alloys and more research. But that wouldn't have mattered too much. Like, we're still good on alloys, and we're not over uh, doing it on research at all. Our only problem is that we got slightly unlucky with uh, tech rolls. If we got more lucky, then we would have had uh, this stuff at least five years earlier. And at that point, our alloy production would have made sense. Yeah, what dumb move is the Galactic community doing now? They're actually forming the Galactic Market. Also, uh, you see that we're not uh, in, in the lead when it comes to uh, Diplowate. That's because we're isolationist. We'd be easily the biggest empire in the galaxy uh, without it. I gotta, I gotta sort out my uh, <laughs> minerals issues. Technological acquisition successful. Let's see. Uh, consumer goods are something we don't need. Tech is something we don't really need. Hunter secret drones are something we definitely don't need. Actually, we, we do need tech. I lied. Now I can sell consumer goods because um, we're not producing consumer goods, therefore we can't sell them because logic. Honestly, we're fine on alloys. Uh, if we have any planet that's overproducing alloys, we can probably cease. Technological acquisition successful. I have to say, I'm hella surprised we haven't gotten our precursor yet. I haven't been doing the best job at uh, gunning for it, but it's no reason not to get precursors. Alright, game is trolling. For all intents and purposes, consider this build uh, essentially good for 66. We're just not getting uh, unit ambitions, even though we had that opportunity for the past, uh, what? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 techs? So, yeah. Senate is in the session, we're voting on the good stuff. The galactic market. That's actually going to uh, save our economy, which is currently just <laughs> dead. Although it's Special it's coming back, it's coming back. We have uh, 
a lot of goodies at this point. Successful. Captain De Danny one son. We don't need tech. Yeah. Technological acquisition successful. I'm waiting to just say, there we go. We got Unity Ambitions, but no. At this point, we could probably just go on fastest. Acquisition successful. We don't really care about engineering. We don't really care about physics. All we care about now is uh, the timing. Successful. Technological acquisition successful. Actually, we're gonna cancel uh, research in technological acquisition successful in physics after science sex is done. Technological acquisition successful. I want to store up some research so that once we get. Um, What's it called? Uh, Dyson spheres. We research the technology as quickly as possible. Technological acquisition successful. So we're gonna Special just store up a bunch complete. of physics uh, uh, research. Technological acquisition successful. Technological acquisition successful. Technological acquisition successful. How could do home planet types make any difference? Uh, it's usually best to go for tundras if you want minerals. Actually, yeah, tundras for minerals, uh, dry worlds for energy, and. Uh, Temperate worlds for food. Technological acquisition successful. So we have three, four purple techs here. None of them are uh, ambitions. See how much tech we have stored? 30k. I mean, that should be good enough. But once we, if we start researching stuff, uh, it's going to, what's it called? Actually, consume our stored research, so that's not good. Technological acquisition successful. There we go, Unity Ambitions. It only took forever. I uh, kicks. Oh my! What what just happened? Okay. I uh, kicks forever. Hello. What are the tech costs? One X. Believe it or not, we're at one X, and uh, I mean. I'm not sure how quickly we're going to be able to get Dyson's, but we should be able to get it right around year 66. Uh, Thomas Weimer, uh, it does depend on how many tech bonuses, well, not how many tech bonuses, how many speed bonuses you have. Uh, but typically to build a Dyson, if with a plus 100% bonus, would take 25 years. With a plus 150, it would take like 18. So... 18 years from year 66, we're going to get Situation a full Dyson. And we have plenty of alloys uh, to afford it. On normal speed, though, it's 10 years per segment. But normally, like, you wouldn't be going... If you're going for mega megastructures, you would at least be running uh, the Essential Perk to increase speed. And you'd be running... Uh, the ambition. Alright, Dyson Sphere, 20 months. And then uh, we'll be able to boost its construction by a whole lot.
probably going to do a video to sum up uh, what happened in the stream. I don't know if I want to keep the stream up, considering the technical difficulties we've had. Like, half the stream is me complaining about Comcast, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, vote. Should we keep the stream up? Yes. Or should we take it down? Uh, honestly, I'm not going to I'm not gonna vote. No, 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 no. I'm not going to vote. I'm probably just going to take this stream down, because it's not really up to par quality-wise. Technological acquisition successful. All right, there we go. Ambitions. Now we do a little bit of trickery. We use the extra set of brick slot for master builders. And we use the extra tradition, uh, extra unity we have for architectural renaissance. And now, uh, hold on. Now wait till we get the Dyson Sphere finished. And then, yeah, we, we Gucci. Cybrex uh, will give you extra speed. Like, if you get Cybrex, you can get this done a lot quicker uh, than this run. But at the same time, Cybrex also just gives you Mega Engineering for free, so it's way easier. Technological acquisition successful. All right, there we go. Final stretch. Successful. Technological oh, acquisition successful. I'm just going to restore all the jobs on these planets. Stabilize our economy. Technological and yeah. Acquisition successful. Technological acquisition successful. Technological uh, pe people are actually saying put it up, uh, keep keep the stream up for the memes. Technological mm. acquisition successful. I may reconsider. There, there's like a... 82 second delay, so I, I am sorry for not live interaction, but yeah. Acquisition successful. Situation log adjusted. 500 likes to keep the stream up. Okay, okay, okay. If you guys get 500 likes on the stream, I will keep it up as a VOD. Otherwise, I will unlist it. So, but let's see. Let's see. Yeah, at this point, uh, we're almost ready with the Dice's Sphere site. And uh, if you guys have any questions, please do go ahead and ask them. We're at 86. Bro, are we going to get this Dice out of year 65? Am I going to have to change the thumbnail? No, 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 no. Please, game, game. Slow down, slow down. Technological Don't do it, construction ship. Don't do it. Come on. We can get a year 66. Booyah. Year 66 Dyson, as promised, as advertised. Perfect. Look at that. Look at that. Year 66 Dyson, and in the thumbnail it says Year 66 Dyson. It's almost like I planned this out. It's almost like all the, the micro uh, mistakes that I made along the way, they were all to get the Dyson done in Year 66. Uh, I mean, okay, look. We definitely could have gotten this done at least five years ago. Uh, if we just got luckier with tech rolls. But uh, the thing with tech rolls is that it's not completely up to luck. It's also up to weight. Uh, like, we maximized the weights for uh, the engineering techs. We maximized the, the stuff for engineering. And we got all we needed relatively quickly. Although, at one point, we had a stretch of just really bad fucking rolls. Like, uh, we got access to tier 4. Like, okay, okay. Let, let's count, let's count. So let's see. Cruiser says one, two, three, four, five, six techs. So from this point onwards, we had access to tier four technologies. That's one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So that's like a dozen and a half 
uh, tech rolls we had where we just couldn't get tier 4 techs. It's ridiculous. Uh, but still. That is that is a pretty good uh pretty good performance. All in all. Or the two. Uh but yeah. Uh, I'm gonna actually very quickly check the science tech tree. I mean the society tech tree, because in previous runs I never had issues with Unity Ambitions. And that alone would have taken off two years off of this run. Uh, so let's see. Society. Ambition theory. Ah, god damn it. Alright, okay, okay. So, quick correction. And quick tip for you guys uh, also trying to do this build. Uh, you want a curator. Or a statecraft scientist. Uh, I don't think we have a statecraft. Oh, we do. So if we had this guy... If we had this guy instead of the guy we had in tech, we would have had a five times greater chance of rolling Ascension Theory. That is something I'm definitely going to keep in mind for the future, because I did not know that. I never had problems with Ascension Theory, that's why I didn't really bother to check, but you definitely want a statecraft scientist or a curator on your uh, society if you want to get uh, Ambition Theory immediately instead of rolling 20-something uh, techs for it. So yeah, that's pretty good. Now let's check the like count. We're at 453 likes. Guys, come on. We're, uh... Not quite there. Not quite there. Uh, I'll give I'll give you guys some time. Uh, in the meantime, we'll just see how fast it's gonna take to build this thing. Like, successful. 1,440 1, days, uh, divide that by 360, that's gonna be, uh, quick maths, quick maths, uh, I can totally do this in my head, uh, my, my phone is simply an extension of my, uh, head, obviously, uh, that is four years, so that's four years per stage, technological acquisition successful, uh, times five stages, so that's 20 years in total, so we would have a full Dyson Sphere, Producing 4,000 energy credits per month in acquisition successful. year 86. That's crazy. That's genuinely crazy. A full Dyson in year 86 without Cybrex, successful. without finding a ruined Dyson Sphere, without anything. Year 86, full Dyson. It does take a bit of luck. It does take a bit of skill. Normal runs, I don't have 3k tech in year 67. In fact, I don't have... I don't even have one K tech in your 67 on some runs. Well, on Unga Bunga primitive runs, but that's beside the point. You have to do a lot of stuff to make this build go right. But once you do, it's freaking amazing. 469 likes? I mean. Let's do more. Uh, for now, I'll talk about the questions that we were getting in chat. Uh, Joel Wood is asking, you giving up on Twitch streaming? Uh, nope. Uh, on Twitch, I'm going to uh, be streaming the weekend multi-games uh, that I normally have every Saturday, so that's at least one stream per week. Otherwise, uh, I want to occasionally pop in and stream competitive games or runs where I'm just practicing for videos. Although, I'll probably be streaming it in the mornings for me or uh, evenings for you Europeans out there because last time... I streamed when it was 8 p.m. my time. There were no viewers, and I got hella tired by the end of the stream. It was uh, it was terrible. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You know what? You know what? 500 likes. You guys, uh, you guys, maybe keep the stream up. There you go. Technological acquisition successful. Streamed like 82 seconds, so you're you're, you're gonna hear it in over a minute. Uh, but yeah. Technological acquisition. I don't know how, how the hell I'm gonna time the ending of the stream. I'm probably gonna... Malignant oh. forces are moving against us. Right, let's just ignore that. Look, we have 42,000 uh, allies. This is nothing. All we have to do is slap some uh, some protons in these ships. Let's see. Neutron launchers. 